What was that? That is the darkest of angels. Dementus, look what I found. Who do we have here? She's from a place of abundance. What's your name? Tomorrow, I'll follow the tracks that brought you here and I'll take you home. Where did you think you were going? If you survive everything we take on together, you'll have all the skills you need to get wherever you want to go. Keep it. You'll need it. This place at the end of your map of secrets. I want to help you find it. Gentlemen, it's time! Time to take back the front wheels and park it! My mother. My childhood. I want them back. Hello everyone and welcome to another movie review. I am happy that you can join me today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Click the subscribe button below for future notifications and updates. Click the like button and share this content with other fans. Okay, so yesterday... Uh, May 24th, I was busy watching movies all day, and um, I am excited to tell you that I watched Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Um, it was, it, it's considered to be a post-apocalyptic action-adventure film. It was written and directed by George Miller. It is the fifth movie in the Mad Max franchise. It is a prequel to Mad Max Fury Road that was made back in 2015. Um, I, I can't believe it's been nine years since Mad Max Fury Road um, was released in theaters. That's really sh a surprise to me. I can't believe, you know, time flew by so, so quickly. Um, anyway, um, Furiosa stars Anya Taylor-Joy as Furiosa. And Chris Hemsworth, who plays the warlord Dementus. It premiered at the Cannes Film Festival on May 15th. Uh, it was theatrically released in Australia Thursday, May 23rd. And in the U.S. yesterday, May 24th. And last but not least, the running time is 2 hours 28 minutes. Okay, so in one sentence, Furiosa is the origin story of Furiosa. How she went from a child who lived with her mother in the green place of the many mothers to a woman who worked for a Morton Joe at the Citadel driving an oil rig. This film also explains how she lost her left arm. Hemsworth plays Dementis, who killed Furiosa's mother and adopted Furiosa and treated her like a cross between a daughter and a deity. However, when Dementis uh, finds the Citadel and meets Immortan Joe, they strike a deal where Dementis exchanges Furiosa and his doctor for control over Gastown, which is an oil refinery that supplies Citadel with gasoline. So Furiosa becomes Joe's slave and he keeps her in his harem of wives. Eventually she runs away, lives the life of a mute teenage boy, and learns how to operate an oil rig. Alright, so um, I'm going to give this film three and a half out of five stars. My biggest issue with this film is the film feels long. So I, f 
I believe that you can tell uh, this story in less time, probably in two hours, um, two hours, 10 minutes max. So in my opinion, if this film would have been at least 15, 20 minutes shorter, I probably would have given it a five star film. And the reason why I would have, the reason why I would have given it, you know, five stars if it was shorter. Um, otherwise, this is a really great film. Um, Anya Taylor Joy and Chris Hemsworth for were absolutely fantastic in this film. Chris Hemsworth is um, a great villain. Um, he's, he, I mean, I. I, I think this is probably one of his um, strongest um, acting that he's ever done in his career. Um, he's just brilliant as Dementus. Um, the cinematography is beautiful. The landscapes of the wasteland, the citadel, gas town. I mean, these are, you know, it's, it, the, it's a gritty film. Like the other Mad Max films, but it's just gorgeous to look at. Um, certain shots look like paintings filled with blues and oranges. And I pick up on that because I started drawing when I was four. Started painting when I was eight or nine. So, um, you know, I studied color theory. And according to color theory, blue and orange are complementary to each other. So when you see them side by side, both colors pop. So that's why this film is just absolutely stunning, in my opinion. Um, so I would recommend that you watch this film on the big screen before it leaves theaters. Do not wait for it to come on streaming. Do not wait for it to come on Blu-ray and DVD. Definitely see it at a theater before it goes away. Um... Um, when you watch this film, you are reminded as to why George Miller is one of the greatest filmmakers alive today. Um, this year, I think he's 79, 80 years old. So when he made Mad Max Fury Road, he was like 69, 70. And so um, for some reason, um, it's like the older he gets, the better filmmaker he gets. Um, and in my opinion, I think he's inspiring. Um, so yeah, like, you know, if I ever get to make a feature film one day, um, you know, I'm going to be using him as an inspiration because I'm not young anymore. You know, I'm getting up there in age as well. So, um, to see, to see George Miller continue to make movies like, like this, like Mad Max Fury Road, like Furiosa, it's inspiring and, um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just at a loss for words. So, in my opinion, George Miller is one of the greatest filmmakers alive. Um, so yeah, like, I really do hope that one day, uh, the Academy gives him kind of, some kind of Lifetime Achievement Award. Because I think he deserves it. So, that's all for today, my friends. Um, go out and watch Furiosa this Memorial Day weekend if you haven't gotten a chance to. And I will see you next time with another movie review. Take care and have fun at the movies. <laughs>